Hi, I'm uh, Russ Tedrake. I'm a professor in the Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department here at MIT and in AeroAstro, and a member of the Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. I like to build dynamic robots, robots that move with the grace and efficiency of, a, of an animal, right? So we've been working on walking robots for a long time, running robots. Uh, now we've been building robotic birds. Um, I've always been fascinated by the, the things that nature can do that our engineers can't do yet. If you look at robots today, um, they're surprisingly conservative in the way that they move. In fact, when you, people talk about, um, you know, he dances like a robot or something, that's supposed to be a bad thing, right? Uh, but our robots should dance just as well as any ballerina, I think, when we're done with our work. And similarly, our, our, our running robots should be able to go just as far and as fast and as, as efficiently as a human when we run. Uh, one project we're working on right now is we're trying to make a robotic ostrich that can run on two legs and approach 50 miles an hour. I think it's funny, people ask me why does the world need robotic ostriches? I'm not sure if we need robotic ostriches, but I'll tell you my philosophy on, on why we build these crazy robots. It's because, first of all, I love robots, but um, um, I, I'm quite sure that the technology we're building for, for these robots that are pushing the limits of what we can do with control technology is relevant far beyond the uh, robotic ostriches. And uh, one of the reasons that I'm confident in that is because we actually use a lot of the same control technology for, let's say, a running robot that's running at 50 miles an hour and a, a plane that's darting through trees or landing on a perch. Uh, the, the mathematics behind the control approaches is actually extremely similar and the, found, and the advances we've been making are fairly um, foundational and, and I think and can apply to a lot of problems. So for instance, we've been trying to, to take that technology and show that the, the same way we've learned how to control robotic birds, we can use to make wind turbines more efficient, right? And as a philosophy for the lab, I've decided that it's more fun, instead of trying to eke a few percentage of performance improvement um, on a wind turbine, we'd rather build a robotic bird that nobody's ever seen before. And, uh, and, and that way I get in every morning excited to be doing what I'm doing and I get to the best students in the world to come work on the problems with me and, uh, uh, and we just get to have a lot of fun uh, making these advances and still I think working towards the ultimate goals of having uh, control technology that's going to benefit the world. So I live in Needham and which is about 11 miles uh, away from, from Cambridge and about a year and a half ago I just got fed up with, with driving to work, sitting in traffic all the time, scheduling my commutes to avoid rush hour. Uh, it was just no fun. And I am now a barefoot runner. I, uh, I run uh, about half of my, my distance, I'd say, with my shoes off. Uh, not with the five-fingered shoes, not with some sort of almost barefoot solution, but I actually run barefoot through the streets of Boston. And I love everything about it. I think it's healthier for my, for my legs. I think I'm less likely to get injured. Um, I think uh, it makes my, my body stronger. Um, the only thing I don't like is that people think I'm a little crazy. <laughs> So, um, so if you see someone uh, running barefoot through campus, uh, heading out west of the city, uh, uh, that's probably me. <laughs>